fine. And I'm going to show you with just this, because I don't have any Segos left, Sego palms left, but you can also do this if you have Thai leaves or Thai foliage, and also as Bedistra leaves. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, we're going to make this, this one is the heaven line, and this one is the man line. You can also uh, take, if you have a solid leaf like an aspidistra or a tie, you can take floral wire and actually put scotch tape on the back, line it up exactly where the rib is on the back of the leaf, and tape it in several places, and then rub it with your fingernail so that it'll stay in place. And that will give you uh, a good way to bend it and shape it a little bit. But you're going to really put it in at an angle like this. Now, that one is, you can, you can put it this way, or you can have it go this way, this direction, like that. Mm -hmm. All right, and you're going to cut the stems so that they're at an angle, so that when you put them in, you're going to put the heaven line in the back, and the man line is going to be looking slightly towards the heaven line, but, um, but it's also not showing the back side of the leaf. So unlike the sago palm, uh, it has a slit in it, or has slits in it, so that you can see um, the um, flower from the back. So we're going to put the sago palms in and get them angled so that you would actually have a water drip line here. And it's not perfect because it's arc, and these are very stiff. But what you want to achieve is you want to have that little plumb line kind of coming up towards the, where the tip of the heaven line would be. And then you've got them facing each other somewhat, but, but forward. And uh, that is so that they're communicating, good communication between heaven and, and this is man. Then you're going to work with the carnations. You're going to put one, the biggest, heaviest, strongest one, and that will be just a head above half of the height of the heaven line. And you'll place it in the back, kind of peeking through the little pieces of the sago palm. Then the next one you're going to put in the joint where these kind of flare up together um, about a head underneath this one. Then you have these Milky Way Aspidistra leaves. They're really lovely. Uh, you'll have one large, one medium, one small. Uh, if you have your uh, stem of your carnation that you want to hide, you can use one of the Milky Way Aspidistra to hide that and put it in the back to give it depth. And then you'll put one maybe in the front. And then the smallest one you're going to put off to the side um, so that it, it comes off. And this final piece of the carnation, you're going to put lower than a quarter of the height of your arrangement. And that's called tome. So all of these things here, this, 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 are all fuku, which represent the earth. So all of these represent the earth, but when you get to this lowest part, that's called tome. And it's just the lowest piece that's just there, and it just welcomes you in. So that's the design that we're going to do uh, this evening, is our um, classical Kakubana uh, upright design with two light pink carnations and one darker pink carnation. Welcome to our February 2021 uh, Moto Ikebana class. And tonight we are featuring uh, ume, which means plum or plum blossom, and one of the, which is one of the three friends of winter. Now, the plum blossom is different than the cherry blossom. It has five petals that are rounded. It can have multiple petals, but um, certainly the, the petals are, are more rounded. And the difference between cherry blossom and plum is that the cherry always has a V notch in the petals. So you can tell the difference between cherry and plum. Now, um, it's one of the first plants to bloom, first trees to bloom in the winter. And it represents the thawing of winter um, and begins earlier than other flowering trees. The bark on the plum uh, is darker than a cherry, and it doesn't have the horizontal lines like the cherry tree has. The ume is also the same word as apricot, so it could be a plum or an apricot. 
Um, the color of the blossoms range from white to pinks to dark reds. And the leaves of uh, the ume or the plum are usually purplish in color. Now, some varieties are green. The buds, like I said, are always rounded and or the uh, flower petals are rounded and the buds actually come out right on top of the branch. So unlike cherry blossoms, which have a stem and then a bloom, the plum just blooms right off the stem. Um, the fragrance of a plum is very light and sweet. The plum symbolizes vitality, hope, renewal, reminding the observer that spring will arrive soon. It's associated also with beauty, nobility, perseverance, devotion, and uh, purity of mind and a sense of maturity. Now, there's also another name for uh, plum. It's when it's uh, combined with the pine and the bamboo, it's called shochikubai. So it actually has a different name or a different sound. And the bai is equivalent to the plum or the ume. So I've brought some things that I have that always have the shochiku bai on them. One is a little screen that you see when you have put up your New Year decoration. And this is the New Year decoration for 2021. It's a little cow with a bell. And on the bell are represented shochiku bai the pine, the bamboo, and the plum. And that's always seen on the back of these little screens when you display your new year um, animal for the, for the year. Uh, then I have some little like pickle plates with shochikubai uh, in blue and white, and also uh, shochikubai in this, this little plate, which I think is for soy sauce and your wasabi so that you can dip your um, uh, ingredients into that. Um, a lot of screens and scrolls will show the plum branches, which are gnarled and kind of mature and weathered. But you see that the flowers come right on to the stems. Um, the other things I have to show are just like a fan um, and some other ikebana, as well as a cutout um, little card that has the uh, ume or the plum uh, right uh, on the card. And it has a little fragrance that it smells like the plum, which over the years, the oils have come off onto my card. But I have the show, the chiku and the bai uh, on this one. So anyway, that is the ume or the plum blossoms. So be inspired and encouraged that uh, winter is starting to go out and spring is coming soon.